This is Hannibal from TheHannibalTV.com and I'm with former WWE star Nathan Jones, uh, who's huge. How tall are you exactly? I'm six foot ten. Wow. And a lot of people remember your WWE run, but it was a little bit shorter to live than people expect. Uh, why was that? Uh, it was a bit of a rock star's lifestyle, and I'm a, a homebody by nature, so um, yeah, it just didn't suit me at the time. You know, that's the way it happens, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you worked with some top names while you were there, though. Any highlights uh, from your time there? Um, I, I remember joining Survivor Series. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, WrestleMania. Remember that one? The big spinning kick to the head of uh, Big Show. You know, uh, I, like, oh, I thought I'd add that in because people you play the giant all the time, you know. Yeah. And I thought it'd be nice to see someone jump around and some of those big guys do it. We can now we can do, yeah, you know, fly around as well. <laughs> well, I did uh, WWA or W No All Stars, and I did tours around Australia and Europe, and uh, I before that also I was in Japan, and I wrestled with Zero One, Hoshimoto and Tani and Tanaka. And uh, yeah, that was a good, a good for me because uh, I learned a lot. Like, so they guys, most of those guys can't speak English, so uh, I just jump into the ring. I just you better duck this. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, it just turned out to be really good. We can, a lot of ad libbing. Did you ever do any ultimate fighting in Japan? I seem to recall you may have. Yeah, I did a work fight. <laughs> because it was it was it uh, presented as a shoot and it was work because that was often it the case. It was a work. <laughs> it was it was a sumo guy. Yeah, we and uh, it was it was fun. But um, yeah, I guess you could never make the weight classes here for MMA in America at the 265 weight limit. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I I don't think I'll be doing MMA. <laughs> I'm I'm too old now. <laughs> that sort of business. I mean, um, yeah. I'm not as young as I used to be, and all that energy. And, uh, and you're, you're obviously huge. Uh, what are some of your best lifts in the gym? I was the world's strongest man in the Highland Games, world's strongest man in, uh, back in 2000. No, no, 1996. I'm old. I'm 50 years old now, so yeah. So yeah, I was, uh, I was this junior powerlifting champion. I did a 340 kilo deadlift at uh, 21 years of age. And um, which was the world record at the time, and Australian bench press record of three, 210 kilo. You guys talking pounds though? Uh, was the Australian record bench press that was at 22 years of age? Uh, I think the most I ever did when I was getting into the power through about 25, I was pulling 375 deadlift. I was never really good at squats. Um, I think I did a 350 once bench press, you know, without a pause. Yeah. Yeah. But I used to... to kilograms, right? Kilograms, yeah. So yeah. T uh, multiply that by 2.2 .2 and you'll get the pounds, yeah, which probably neither of us could do. Yeah, 2.2 .2 pounds, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I could squat around about 320. About, I never really... I could de I could partial lift, though. I could like, partial lift a half a ton. When I do, like, de partial deadlifts, partial squats, you know, I was... I could do like 10 reps. I still had more in me, but I thought, better hold, leave some in the you know, fuel tank. I was just, I was crazy back then. You know, I, I didn't know when to back off. I used to red line a lot. You know, I call it red lining. Yeah. And, you know, push yourself beyond, you, you know, you start breathing deep, you're getting that adrenaline, and you start feeling like uh, you're getting goosebumps and, you know, adrenaline rush, you know, right. and then you start, you go beyond your normal limits. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it wasn't. It's not very healthy to do that all the time. And I imagine you can probably eat uh, quite a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, back in those days, I ate a lot. Yeah, Cause, you know, a growing boy. <laughs> Did you ever take any food challenges or anything? So, no, I'd yeah. probably be beaten by some little Asian <laughs> and be humiliated, like I did with Troy and Brad Pitt, you know, when he came running at me, the little scrawny pretty boy, and, you know, run right past me and then stab me unfairly from behind. You know, I mean, he's a backstabber, yeah. you know. You, go, you see that? I guess you must have... Rematch, by the way, Brad, if, you, if you're watching this, you and me, okay? <laughs> You, I'm sure you practiced that scene uh, quite a bit, so you probably spent some time with Brad. What was he like? He was really friendly. He was nice. He was, you know, I think he was happy to kill me. <laughs> he, goes, he said the first thing he said, oh, God, you look, you look 
a star. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> but I don't really think of myself as a star. I think of myself as just Nathan. Right. You know, I, I don't really get into that. But um, You're now mainly an actor, though, aren't you? Yeah, just acting. I, the last two movies just been released right now. Uh, Scorpio King, Book of Souls. That's out in DVD. And uh, In Life Flynn. It's the life story of Errol Flynn, where I played the, the mountain. You know, and uh, that's it's a fun movie. Same uh, director as uh, The Highlander, which was one of my favorite movies ever. You know. Uh, so, do you live in LA? Or? No, no, I live in Australia. Okay. And I'm um, here with my family, and uh, they get to, you know, I get to do these comic cons, and these are really good family atmosphere. And, you know, my little boy down there, Justice, is <laughs> my wifey. <laughs> So yeah, and your wife? Uh, can we bring your wife into the shot here, just so we could? I'm just curious. He could pick her up. <laughs> yeah. No way, I can pick her up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So his wife is a little uh, smaller. And, and to cl close this off, where can people follow you on social? Little growth under my armpit. I have to see the doctor to get it removed. <laughs> hey, what was that? Uh, <laughs> where could people follow you on social media? Um. On Instagram, Rictus Erectus. It's my name. Yeah, it's my. It was my character's name for Mad Max Fury Road. I know I sound like a porn star. <laughs> very, very virile. <laughs> and then uh, Nathan Jones. It's got an official. You'll see the tick on Facebook. You know. <laughs> I have to ask where you met your wife. Now that I, I see the size. <laughs> we we met on Facebook, and uh, I thought she's got a lot of. You know, if it factor, I just have a spunk, you know, character. And I thought she was taller, and I remember when she got off the plane, I thought, oh my god, she's short. You know, but you know, she makes up with a wonderful personality. Yeah. You know, I'm sort of because I'm so much huge difference. But yeah, All right. it's wonderful. No, that's not true. <laughs> I deny it, Your Honour. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for uh, talking to us, and good luck with your acting okay. career.